there is winter solstice, and I know we'll all be celebrating in our own different ways. Um, Thank you. Thank you. That's a bit. Love you. That's a bit. Shortly we're going to be passing the. That's a bit. That's a bit. I'm very busy. Very busy. Very busy. Further still, you see yourself at the top of a stairwell, and at the bottom, those you touch. A tenth rose now appears in your throat area and unfolds petal by petal. As it does, you remember the times when harsh and discouraging words were spoken to you. You remember the times you said harsh and negative things to others or about others. And then you see the times when someone's words lifted you, thrilled you, encouraged you and strengthened you. You also see those currently standing, those currently around you that could use encouraging words to, for themselves. And you make a mental note to speak to them as soon as you can. The eleventh rose forms in your brow area. And as it forms, you remember all the dreams you had growing up. You remember the times you failed to nurture them. You see the times you refused to follow your higher imaginings. Then you see the dreams that are beginning to unfold for you. They stir your imagination. And you remember that you were never given a hope, wish or dream without being given an opportunity to make it a reality. And the only thing that can shatter it is compromise. As the last, at last, the last rose petal unfolds, the one upon the crown of your head, you see all that you need to do to make your dreams a reality. You see the promise of the future if you will exert your energies in that direction. <coughs> it grows for the fulfilment of your life. As the twelve roses stand out upon you, they begin to shine and glow with a renewed radiance. The energy begins to pour out of them. 
a golden radiance issues forth surrounding you, as if a garment of golden light is being placed around you. As the golden garment fills your entire aura, radiating light and health, you mentally offer a prayer of thanks. Do the seven bells first. Nam yo Mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers and all the people that have departed right through to the beginning of time. Now you know it. You cannot not know it. And you are all actually living Buddhas. Thank you. Bank and ditch. What you may or may not be aware is between that bank and ditch and these great sarsens there is another circle unseen. And the reason it's unseen 
is it was first discovered and thought to be post holes from wooden posts. It was not. It has since been realised that in fact it was where the blue stones were in a circle here before the break to Eilathons you see. There was a circle. That circle of holes are called the Aubrey holes after the guy that discovered them. In each of those holes was cremated human remains that they now know to be 5,000 years old. They were placed in a circle. We refer to them as the boundary guardians. The blue stones were then put on top of them and the original henge. Where or when the blue stones were moved in into the horseshoe shape you now see, they were put in there. But either way, they were cremated human remains around in a circle. <laughs> Yeah, I'll finish a bit now. Thank you. No, but actually, it's amazing when you've got hot, cold hands and feet, the rest of you just really cool to see what's on. That's right.